Hey everyone, let's work on the median number task. So here we have a class that uh, we're going to make a program in. It's going to have some number, and we want to find the need. It's, it's going to have three numbers. Uh, we want to find the median number between them. So basically, which one comes in the middle um, of them, all, all three. So in this case, we have 10, 15, and 20. And it's saying that 15 is the middle number, right? So it doesn't mean that B is always the middle number. Um, it means we have to check the values of these variables, and one of them will be the middle number. And the other note here is that it's telling us that it's different. So we're always going to get three unique numbers, which means we don't have to handle uh, kind of uh, like what if they're equal. Okay, so uh, I need to declare all the variables first. Let's go ahead and declare them. So I'll say int a is equal to 10, uh, b is equal to 15, and c is equal to 20. So let's just declare them immediately. Um, then I need to just start checking which one is in the middle. So I think the best way to do this is just to take one number and then compare them with the other ones. So for example, uh, let's make a boolean here and let's check if a is the median. How do we know that a is the median or it's the middle number? It means that there's kind of two situations, okay? One situation when a is in the middle is when a is, let's say, more than b. So if a is more than b, that means that a has to be less than c, right? If we want this to be a middle number scenario, it means that a has to be bigger than b, but it has to be smaller than c. When b, when a is between b and c, which is what this boolean is helping us to achieve, that's how we know that a is in the middle. But that's not the only scenario. What if it's the opposite? What if a is bigger than c, but less than b? In that situation, we are also still true. So we can say, or the a is more than c, uh, more than c, and a is less than b. Right? So basically the opposite scenario. What if A is in the middle by being bigger than A but less than C, or it's bigger than C but less than B? So all of these conditions put together makes sure that A is in the middle. And we basically need to repeat this one more time for one of the other ones. Let's just do B. Is B in the middle? So uh, again, following similar structure here, uh, we just need to check. So B is in the middle if it's bigger than one of them, and it's less than the other one. So in this case, let's do uh, is B more than A and B is less than C. So that's one condition. Or uh, B is opposite this time, so more than C and B is less than A. Now, uh, if you take a look at this, we should be slightly careful with our kind of... Um, Workflow here, the execution. Uh, there's some concerns, although, so when it comes to priority here for execution, the ands should actually be executing before the ors. I guess there is no issue necessarily, but I may want to group my statements here in parentheses anyway. It'll also help with the readability. So, although it wouldn't necessarily cause an issue with the result, uh, we should be careful, right? So, it, it's easy to mix them up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and group them in parentheses here as a way to or like quickly see which ones I want to execute first um, and then which ones I want to execute later. Although, again, the ands have their own priority first uh, before or, so it should have been okay regardless. Now that I have the booleans here, all I need to do is use them in an if statement. So if the A is the median, then I can probably just print whatever the number is. Um, I guess in this case, let's do a string variable for the result. Uh, okay. And for the result, I'm going to basically just assign what it, the number is. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have a... I'm going to repeat something. So I'm going to say, is the median number? Like, I'm going to put this part in the result. Now, I guess we don't even need to do it here, but let's just keep it here. That's fine. Um, I'm going to come here to the result, and I'm going to say that the number, whatever A is, A plus result. 
Okay, so what I'm basically doing here is I'm taking the result that I have already, and then I'm adding the a to it. So I'm putting a is the median number, right? And then if I do this again, I can say else if uh, b is the median number. So is that b is the middle number? In that case, I could have just changed this to b. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe this isn't the best because I'm also repeating like this part. Why don't we do this instead? I'm going to just say uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to say this part can just be an output. We only need that one time, and then I I think I just need the middle number. So I'll just say me I'll just make a uh, one int number here called median and that should be fine for us uh, median and I'm just gonna set that as uh, zero for the starting point but then here I'm gonna say median is equal to a here I'm going to say median is equal to B and finally if a and B is not true if they're not the middle ones then it has to be C so the median will be C in the else here now I wanted to try avoiding as much repetition as possible, and so this is this seems like a good solution because now all I need to do is concatenate the median variable at the end, and no matter what the result is, not whether it's a, b, or c, I will know that from this variable. And this way, I didn't have to repeat this part either. I just needed it one time um, at the end here. The other thing is, I guess we don't need uh, the we don't need to assign this variable because it's always having a result here. Uh, there's an else statement that's making sure that there's this variable is always being assigned something before it's being used. So sometimes that could cause an issue, but we we fixed that one. All right. So when we have 10, 15, and 20, it said that 15 is the median number. Let's change that. Let's make. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> if I put a to be a hundred, how does that change it? Well, it means that now 20 is the median because 15 used to be the middle number. But now it's actually the smallest, uh, which means that now C is the uh, middle number. Um, or if I did, for example, 200 on this one, it's a similar situation because now 15 is the smallest and then 200 is the biggest. So now 100 is going to be my middle number. And I don't think we did a situation where I think we did all the situations actually. Yeah, so we tested all of them. When A is the middle, B is middle, and C is middle. And it seems like it was working properly. Um, again, I just want to remind, even if your, you know, your code is not matching exactly line by line, that's completely okay. If you were able to do it and you got the result you expected, that's always the first approach, like the first step um, that you want to achieve. So just keep working on it. See you in the next one.